said. Never in a million years did I think I would ever do this, you guys. Aloha, you beautiful people. Welcome to the North Shore of Oahu. Now, in case you guys didn't know, my family has flown out to visit with us for a week and I have been on this high of all this love and attention that really I'm not quite used to coming from multi-generational military family. You just, you don't get a whole lot of time with family so when you do, it is incredibly precious and it is so special to happen. Now the family that came out with me is by far the more adventurous side of my family which suits me well, right? And so I really wanted to show them the best side of Oahu. And that I think is gonna be on a whole nother video. But for today, we're gonna share with you guys going out with one ocean diving. Um, you guys will also know this company from Ocean Ramsey. And if you don't know Ocean Ramsey, I'm gonna insert a couple brief clips right here from her Instagram account. So yeah, that, that is what we are doing today. Oh my God, I am so scared shitless. I am really trying not to think too hard about this. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I am, I am incredibly terrified of sharks. I have been most of my life, and that's saying something because I grew up in a Navy family. We lived on the ocean my entire childhood. Uh, but the ocean to me growing up was always this cold, this dark, not appealing in the slightest bit thing that existed out there. I wanted nothing to do with it. I did not want to go sailing. I didn't want to go swimming in the ocean. It was always just cold and uninviting. And Tag that along with the generation of growing up watching Jaws. You're gonna need a bigger boat. The thought of going out and surfing with sharks? No. I've been terrified of sharks since the first time I ever saw Jaws. Jaws ruined me for a very, very long time. And Hawaii is slowly ebbing my fear of the ocean. And today is a massive, massive day. Um, I don't know if anyone else is really terrified. I'm gonna ask them, but I'm pretty terrified. I'm trying not to show it too much. Maybe that's what they're doing. <sighs> Al 
Alex and Haley and John are at home relaxing, resting. It is time to hit the North Shore. Get out. Well, here we go. I showed John where my life insurance policy was, and now it's, uh, it's time to do this deed. So as we're starting to head out of the harbor, I could tell that the ocean was gonna be a bit more lively today than it had been, well, that I was hoping for, right? We're still in the heart of February, and the North Shore of Oahu is rocking, but interestingly enough, the waves, the surf break was really small. But once you got out of the harbor and we started going out there because we went three miles offshore, it was pretty rock and roll. And this was not gonna be a nice, easy snorkel. Oh no, we're going for level 99. <laughs> Masterclass snorkeling adventure. Right under the boat, and a hammerhead shark boom, flying by right under the boat to catch the molly molly. He took off. Ding! Very right there. Last potential video of Jack. <clears throat> uh. So, when you get out there and you get into the water, you're supposed to hold on to this blue rope that's along the side of their boat. And that way, one, it, it keeps it safe for the master diver in the water with you. He can keep track of where you guys are, as well as just making sure you're not getting carried away by the currents or the crazy waves. And the boat was doing a great job of breaking those waves for us, but man, it was really tough at times just to hold onto that rope. There were times when I was getting pulled up out of the water, like all of a sudden my whole face is out of the water and then pushing back down to where like I'm not ready for us to go down and I'm sucking in some seawater and whoo it was it was a little bit of a rough ride this is not a glassy ocean this time of year Right as it was my turn to get into the water, the master diver shouted out, tiger, 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 which meant that there's a tiger shark in the vicinity, which when you're about to get in the water, I have to say like I was surprisingly not as scared as I thought I would be. <laughs> finally jumped into the water I really didn't see any sharks at first and that's because from what I understand you know when a dominant shark like that comes up the rest of them go down further in the water column you know I didn't get to actually see the tiger shark because I was slipping in and just getting my bearings before he skedaddled out but then once he left like about 
you know, 30 seconds to a minute later, then the other uh, Galapagos sharks came back up. rope until the master diver calls you over and then you're able to go down and with his direction dive down We saw the hammerhead. did help me. I, you know, I feel like I've been on this journey from, you know, moving out here into Hawaii. The ocean out here is just so different. And now I'm spending, you know, one to two days every week in the ocean. You know, my daughter's picked up surfing and, you know, there's just, the ocean here is just so inviting from other parts of the world that I've been in. You know, this trip and getting in the water with no cage and just experiencing the animals as they are, it was really worth it. Now that being said, it's different here in the wintertime because the tiger sharks are busy with the whales. Like you could hear the whales singing their songs in the distance. And we saw lots of whales on the boat trip out there, but we didn't then have a lot of tigers up close. And I think it might've been a lot more intimidating if the tigers had come up really close, like you see in some of her videos. But the Galapagos sharks, you know, they, they were still pretty big and they were still, you know, pretty intimidating for what they are. Like, you know, if it wasn't for watching and reading all of her content, I probably wouldn't have really appreciated the difference between those sharks. my thoughts and feelings about sharks I think have changed and have evolved. That's not going to mean that I'm about to go hug and kiss a shark 
Like, that's not about to happen. But I think just, you know, less fear and more appreciation, you know, per se. It's, they're still really intimidating. And, you know, it's not like I'm not going to respect them in the water. But I think this blind fear of, you know, I used to never surf or want to surf because, you know, of what might be lurking beneath me and these, you know, these animals just randomly coming and attacking you just because you're in the water and they're in the water. And going on this journey and learning more about sharks makes me more confident for my daughter to be in the water, but also for, you know, for us in general to be in the water and learning how we can stay safe out in this, this wilderness adventurous landscape called the Pacific. Definitely swallowed that of salt water. Woo. And there was definitely there was definitely a couple waves that like pushed down right as I was inhaling yes. in. I was like, oh, that, 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 that. <laughs> Everybody has earned their advanced snorkeling. <laughs> it was good though. I was like, once I was in the water, I, I felt really good. I was yeah. like, I'm not. I, was, I did not hear the whales though. I did when I dived down, uh, and I went know? down. That's when I heard the whales. Uh, cool. I do really want to get Alex on this trip. I, I don't think Haley is quite ready when Haley's too scared to look at a turtle under the water. Separate story. I don't think Haley is ready. But Alex, I think the only thing I need to work on with Alex is just getting her switched over to a traditional dive mask instead of that full face and then teaching her how to dive. So wish me luck on that. But I think you maybe out in the summer, I, I may actually take Alex, my seven-year-old daughter, on this trip with One Ocean Diving. Mm -hmm.